Welcome to the GPX Dog Channel. We're here with Just Bro, CYB Frenchies, Top End Bosses. So I see you got two Frenchies. Yep. Okay. Astro and Sky. My boy named Astro. My girl named Sky. All right, so I got a few questions for you. All right, so why Frenchies are so expensive? I mean, it's, it's a lot that goes into breeding Frenchies. So like, um, for example, Frenchies can't or don't usually have like a, um, a normal uh, birth or pregnancy. So when they had, normally have a C-section, the female has a C-section and then to make them to actually breed them, you have to do like an AI, which is called an artificial insemination. So like just the process of breeding them is um, expensive. Uh, so that's one of the reasons right there. And it's a rare breed too. Do Frenchies require a special type of dog food? Um, yeah, so Frenchies, they have a lot of allergies. So like a lot of Frenchies are allergic to chicken and stuff like that. So like I mainly get my dogs, I get them dry food and then I get them um, salmon. I get them fruit and stuff like that. So they can't eat regular dog food? No, right, no, no they do eat, yeah, they, yes, they can. Yep, yeah, I get them salmon flavored. If someone want to purchase a Frenchie, can a Frenchie be shipped out of the country? Yes, yes. So you could uh, buy a dog from out the country. Like you could buy a dog from the UK if you live in the US, you know, get in contact with a breeder. Uh, ship. You might have to travel over there, you know, to pick the dog, to meet them or pay the shipping for them to uh, fly over here. But it's definitely possible. Okay, is it like a process? Like, um, like a step-by-step -step process? Um, as far as you just get in contact with the breeder and then, you know, y'all communicate on how, you know, you like to rearrange picking up the dog. What type of Frenchies are out there? So, man, it's a bunch of Frenchies. So, for example, right, Astro, he's a cream. He's a cream Frenchie, um, as you can see his color. Um, they have fawns, which is kind of like Astro, but a little bit, a little bit uh, darker. Um, they have Murrow's Sky, she's a lilac Murrow. Murrows are the ones with the spots on them and so forth like that. They have blue Frenchies, which are the gray ones. You have a, um, you can have a, a tri, a blue tri, which is like a blue Frenchie with like white paws and white patches. It's a lot. Then you got the fluffies right now. The, fluff, the fluffy is the most expensive Frenchie right now. That's like a, a Frenchie with like hair, but like a, like a little koala bear, look like little bears. So, Frenchies on average go for five to 10,000. Now, the fluffy is going for like 20,000, 40,000 and up. Wow. So the game is definitely changing a lot. Probably get a, a fluffy before the year is over. What's the lifespan of a Frenchie? Um, on average, I would say like like eight to, don't quote me on this, but I would say like eight to 15, eight to 15 years, maybe like 10 to 15 lifespan. You no, know, depends on how you treat your um your pet, and how you treat your family. Like uh, so because they have small noses, breathing is an issue sometimes. Like theirs, they, they snout's not that small, but smush them. But most bulldogs, French bulldogs, English bulldogs, they have small nose, so they have breathing issues. Any tips of how to sell Frenchies for like people that's into that um breeding and selling French? No, definitely. So make your dogs a page so like my dogs they have a page tyb underscore frenchies tyb frenchies um so that's for one once you make it make your page you follow other breeders network with them uh, going to dog shows um going to dog shows you know just networking that's the best way then they have dog pages where so you can actually post your dogs that you have for sale your puppies that you have for sale so any advice for buyers that wants to buy a Frenchie, like there's things they gotta look out for? Right, so when, you, um, when you're um when you buying a Frenchie, you definitely wanna make sure it's a good breeder. And what I mean as a good breeder is you wanna make sure that they come from a good family. So like a good bloodline. So you wanna try to see what the mom and dad look like. So you know, the structure of uh, your uh, French Bulldog, you wanna look at the structure, the body, because they'll determine on how your French Bulldog will turn out. So um, with bodies, males, you know, a nice, strong, husky male, like Astro, you got a, a big head. Um, sky, females normally smaller. Uh, then the color, the color determines the value too. So you wanna know what you want. So what's the process of breeding a Frenchie? 
All right, so if you starting out from scratch, like you got a pup, puppies, like a boy and a girl, that's a puppy. And they're from two separate breeders because you don't want to do no, you can't be from the same breeders and mate your dog, that's like incest. So if they from two separate breeders and you got your dogs at puppies around like eight weeks, um, your male dog, you'll have to wait until he's about 10 months to where though he can start producing. And when I mean produce, I mean like, uh, you know, pr uh, produce a sperm to have puppies. So about 10 months. Your female, you normally have to wait um, like a year, um, a year and a half, depends on um, when her cycle comes on, when her period comes on. So with the female, you normally have to wait to her second period, like Sky, her uh, period came on in February. So I didn't do it yet because she was only like eight months. So now, and next month it'll be another so it'll be another six months so females periods come on every six months so then it'll be time for me to breed astro and sky so they'll be having puppies in like uh, october so if anybody want to get some pups tap in hit my instagram just jus underscore real um, follow our page tyb underscore frenchies we definitely got some pups available what's the difference between frenchies and english bulldogs uh, the structure, that's a big difference. So English Bulldog is bigger than a French Bulldog. French Bulldog is uh, normally short, compact. There's the uh, English Bulldog is much bigger. Um, so like, that's the big difference. I say like, you know, the size, the weight of the dog. Does color matters when it comes to pricing a yes, Frenchie? Definitely. So the price of uh, the dog is based off of the color. Well, that's one of the variables. So like a Merle, which is the spotted um, Frenchies, like Sky, she's a Merle. Merles cost more than, um, let's say like a Brindle or a Cream or a Blue or a Fawn because their color is rare. Um, but like I said, Fluffy, a Fluffy is like the most expensive Frenchie right now. So the color is, is definitely like a, a, a chart will let you know the different colors and the prices. So Frenchies are indoor pets or outdoor? Um, I would say the term is, it matters where you live. So like I'm from Philly, but I live in Miami. So like I can't have my dogs outside all day playing out there because like I said, it's hot out here. It's always humid. They have breathing issues. So my dogs, they and they house dogs. You know, they boot little bougie. <laughs> my little crazy pups. What you doing back there, guy? So how often do Frenchies get sick? Um, not that often. Like I haven't, like Astro B2 in August, Sky B1 um, this month, next week on the 15th. You know, they haven't been, you know, sick or anything like that. Well, I always recommend getting a pet insurance though. Pet insurance. Cause you know, God forbid something, them vet bills are expensive. So, you know, God forbid you gotta get surgery or anything like that. You want to have pet insurance. Any like good pet insurance out there? Um, that I recommend, um, you can ask your vet because sometimes your vet, they offer insurance. So what does it take to care for a Frenchie? A lot of love, like, like these are my kids right here. Like Astro, Scott, that's my family. So, hey little girl, come here. So it's like, I take care of them as if I would take care of my kids. So you just gotta have a lot of time, a lot of dedication, because you know, they definitely gonna make a mess in your spot. <laughs> so what's the difficult part of owning a Frenchie? Um, I would say just, I don't really think it's any hard part. Like honestly, it's just how, no matter how dedicated you are. Like, I don't feel like it's no no hard work. I just got, you got to have the time. It's a, it's a lot of time. Like, it's, so you got to have the time. Like, the guy feed them three times, got to walk them three times. So, you definitely got to have time. What's the easiest part? Love. They got, you see, they got personalities. They got d different personalities. So, they, as soon as you come in the house, it's instant love. Like, it, they love you. You so much love. Gene with love. They always doing something. Stay, stay doing something crazy. Keep you busy for sure. 
So does Frenchies have breeding problems? Yeah, yes, some a lot of Frenchies do, but it all depends on like how to, so like your nose, so like Sky, her nose isn't smush, smushed in like that. She can breathe, her nostrils sits out a little bit. Same way with Astro. So some Frenchies, they have like flat noses, so it's harder to breathe. Name a few health problems that Frenchie have. Skin, so like their skin, skin allergies. So um, they could get patches, same with English Bulldogs. Like, um, so you gotta be careful with what you feed them. Uh, could be allergic to grass, so food, different food allergies. Are Frenchies violent? No, 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 they're very lovable, very good for kids, good for anybody, really. People that shouldn't get Frenchies? If you don't love animals, if you don't love, if you don't, you don't mind, you know, taking a couple losses, a couple pair of shoes, a couple furniture might go get messed up a little bit, stuff like that. You ain't gonna take it out on the animal when you when you're Frenchy then. You good. Check us out, man. Our YouTube page, look us up, TYB Frenchies. Um my Instagram, uh TYB underscore Frenchies. My my Instagram is just J U S underscore real. Sky, my baby girl right here. She will be in heat next month, so pups will be on the way. Lilac Merle. Got my boy Ash over here. You know, y'all got a nice female, nice female that y'all want to uh, go ahead, that's ready to have pups. Y'all want to pay that stuff fee. Astro's available.